So when you first power up a thermostat, there's three different modes that you can set it in. And if you put it to off and hold down the up and down arrows, then the first 60 seconds after being powered up, you can select three different modes. Heat pump zero is the most common setting, as this is where the reversion valve is energized for cooling. And now I'm going to have to reset it here. It wasn't quick enough. You guys can actually see how to do this once again live here. And it always defaults to the last setting that it was at 2 a.m., which I had to set it off. Auto. So now I got to just hold these down again for five seconds. So heat pump zero is energizing the reverse valve for cooling. Six is energizing the reverse valve for heat. And then this is just your conventional if you have a furnace or some other application. And a couple of heat pumps we've come across actually have that type of board. So I'll go ahead and put it back to energizing the reversing valve for cooling. Let me just give it a minute here. As you saw just earlier in the tutorial, it actually times out. There we go. So as you can see now, the system is still set to off. I'll go ahead and put it back to auto. And which I'm going to bring in my voltmeter here just to do a little bit of troubleshooting and just showing how, how the relays and stuff work on this stat. Let me set that up there. So as you recall, the orange wire that's plugged into W w for the reverse valve as you can see right now it has eight volts so it defaults right now so where the in, the reverse valve would not be energized and this is a good time to just talk a little bit why we're actually seeing voltage when it's um, not actually being energized you'll see between about seven to nine volts in this scenario and that's just because there's Pelican has a surge suppressor that's unterminated, so it has high impedance. So that's when you, the wire is actually set to a control board that has low impedance, it will actually draw that voltage down. And so if you just wires were terminated on a control board of a heat pump or a furnace, you would actually see zero voltage. But for this um, tutorial, you'll see 9 volts when something's not energized and 24 to 28 volts when something actually is energized. So I just have my common from my voltmeter plugged into the black wire here and just giving you guys showing you real quick the red wire so you can see it's 27 volts the compressor the yellow wire 9 volts supply fan the green wire 9 volts so just to show you real quick if we turn that fan to be on that should kick the relay on and it does have it you could probably hear it there it clicked so now, as you can see now we have 27 volts the fan would be running and this is stuff that you could check up at the unit the nice thing about pelican that we'll actually have in a separate tutorial is how you can use your smartphone or a laptop to be able to energize these relays to be up at the unit commanding the thermostat versus having to have a one technician down at the stat and one up at the unit troubleshooting. So I'll go ahead and turn the fan back off. Now if we lower the cooling set point down below that, I think you might have already heard that relay click. So now looking at the reversing valve, as you can see there it, it got energized. And you'll actually you'll see a cooling call come up on the stat. So the fan still off, the compressor still off. You can just heard that other relay click. It should be kicking the fan on. And there we go. Now the compressor, just heard another relay click. Now it's 27 volts. So this unit, and you can see it's cooling call is on the stat right there, cooling on. So we got the compressors on, fans on, and the reversing valve is energized. So real quick here, we'll change this just 
put this version to make this a little bit quicker we'll raise that to the heating set point 76 and I'll go ahead and pause this video just until the cooling call drops out because there's some time delay built in there so you can see the reverse valve is still energized compressor still on fan still running even though the heat so just it does have a time there to shut off so now you should be seeing the reverse valve will become de-energized compressors off fan still running there reverse valve still energized so we just got to wait for that heating call to come on there so I'll go ahead and pause the video here momentarily Okay, now I heard the relay just click, so now you, as you can see here, the orange wire, which is connected to W, now is de-energized de for the reverse and valve. The compressor, I just heard the relay click, you probably saw the heat come on. You should be seeing the compressor come on here momentarily. Supply fan is on. There, the other relay just kicked, clicked. You probably heard it. So now we're, it's compressor's running, fan is on, and because we're the mode of reverse in valve energized for cooling, de energized for heating, as you can see, it's de energized. So now the unit is in heating mode. And that's it for just the quick tutorial, just troubleshooting on this. And like I said earlier, you can control these relay outputs via your smartphone or your laptop through Pelican's um, web interface. And once again, just if you do have an issue with that, you can either replace the and determine that it's a relay, you can replace the wiring module, and if there's something wrong with, and that will probably be typically where there will be an issue if it actually is the thermostat. And that way you can keep the unique serial number so after you get all that configuration and set up, you don't have to go back and um, do all that through the web interface. You can just keep the same serial number and replace the wiring relay. But if you do have a display that goes bad or something, you can also just replace that versus having to replace the whole stat. Thank you very much.